This is a perfect time of year for grilling. I know, and I thought it'd be a great time to share a few tips on grilling veggie burgers. Hi, I'm Debbie. And I'm Courtney. Welcome, Welcome to the, the home, home of Almost, Almost Vegan, Vegan Cooking, Cooking School. School. The first ingredient that goes into the veggie mix is our beans. Now this happens to be a can of kidney beans. You could use any kind of beans you wanted. Canned beans, um, in this case, work pretty good. Now what I'm doing is I'm draining this and saving the bean water at the bottom. That's called aquafaba and I'm going to give it to Courtney and she's going to save the bean water but rinse our beans. And the reason why I suggest doing that is because if your veggie mixture is a little too dry, we can use this as a binder because this is an egg replacement and three tablespoons of aquafaba are equivalent to one egg. So we're going to put our burgers together. Our formula includes some beans, some grains. We're going to mash these up pretty good and then we're going to add some dry ingredients to hold it together, some flours, some seasonings, and then some vegetables. So we got this mixed pretty good so far. It does seem a little bit dry today. I know, I made the rice yesterday and it is a little drier, but there's a lot of water in the vegetables, so let's incorporate them and see what happens. No, it's really... So we have our vegetables mixed in, and as you can see, the vegetables added a lot of moisture. This holds together really well. So we are going to add just a little bit of aquafaba and that will be more as a binding agent more than for the moisture because it, it will keep the patties together better when they go on the grill. So what do you think? One tablespoon? I think one tablespoon. Okay. Just give that a final mix and we'll start making our patties for the grill. We're ready for the grill. This batch of veggie burgers made six patties. And they're so colorful. Yeah. Um, this batch right here I made the day uh, before. And one thing that you can try if you make it ahead of time and want to bring it to a barbecue is I seared it in a cast iron skillet, a seasoned skillet, five minutes each side. And I thought that might help it from sticking on the grill because sometimes when you put this whole thing in the refrigerator it can get a little moist. Um, and the idea for the perfect veggie burger is to have it crisp on the outside and moist on the inside. So that's what we're going for. This is a gorgeous day for grilling. And you wanna make sure your grill is nice and hot before we put those burgers on there. And we're just gonna wait for a little char line, maybe six, seven minutes. Okay, check out the grill marks on this. They're really looking beautiful. Even though it's delicate looking, we, they stay together and they're almost ready for the buns. <laughs> Courtney, this is like turning into my favorite veggie burger yeah, right mine now. Mine too, yep. I really like it. It's so flavorful that you really can enjoy it even without the bun. I mean, just creamy potato salad and some, some fresh, fresh yeah. tomatoes, yeah. a little bit of lettuce from the garden. <laughs> so speaking of the garden, if you haven't already signed up for our newsletter, you should do so and you could check out the progression of our garden through the whole summer and here in Colorado well into the fall. Right, so just a little bit of extra sunshine every week in our newsletter. Um, it's so simple, all the links are below. We hope you enjoyed our time together. And if you like cooking with plants, be sure to visit almostvegancookingschool.com and enroll in our online cooking course. It's all in an effort to heal our bodies, heal each other, and heal our world. One recipe at a time.